Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today I'm hoping to um, finish the tiling of the wood stove project here. But, well, I have some other things that I want to show you. Once I got a new tripod, and it's pretty cool. It's very lightweight, and when you fold it together, it's not very long. So, uh, this will be able to go in my suitcase or hand baggage on an airplane. And that is awesome. I'll be bringing that to London, where I'm going in uh, actually a week from now. So, but let's see what else I haven't. I haven't worked on the project as so, but I have done a little bit, so let's go see that. Uh, I actually said that in my last video that I was going to do that. So, I went out and I bought some more tiles. Uh, six boxes of tiles I bought here. And well, they were about 120 crowns a piece. So each box is just under $20. And also I got a new mixer to mix up the tiling adhesive because the one I have is really worn down. It's um, at a point where these metal things, they're just sticking out into the, into the nothingness. So I have more tiles. I can complete this now, hopefully. And over here I have some more projects waiting to be done. This one, still hoping to repair that. Uh, got some spare parts from China. Here's some transistors for that. So, awesome. But I'll go mix up some tiling adhesive now and uh, get a move. Oh, some, I promised someone to do a tomato update. How are the tomatoes? The weather is marvelous. <clears throat> but the tomatoes are doing really well. Um, they're wet. Over here they're very green and wet, but otherwise doing okay. Uh, over there, uh, I don't want to get out into this. Uh, they're doing nice too. So, tomato update. Got it. So a really nice thing about this tripod is that it uses the same locking system as the old one. So I can put the camera on fairly quick instead of moving that tripod so if I want to go outside I can just bring the camera and have a tripod in here and a tripod outside nice so here is the old mixer for the tiling adhesive pretty easy to see that these pieces of metal are no longer attached in here and it, it used to be something like this not entirely like this but close to so I'm gonna retire this one it has been doing a great job for many years this one is even stronger quality I also had to go buy a new bag of tiling adhesive and this is my favorite brand the yellow one that I've been using until now I didn't find it as good as this one so uh, there we are. That. and we'll put some of that in I think that's good. Need some water. Probably not enough, but let's start there. Oh, I actually did do something last time that I haven't showed you. I moved these white electric 
conduits up to the ceiling before they were down here at the floor. So I moved them that uh, amount up so that now they go all the way to the ceiling and that's of course where the wood stove tiling will go. Okay, I was looking at this first tile. I just written in the wall but I don't think this tile fits very well. There's a big gap in here. So I'm gonna try and find another tile and see if, if I have one that is a little bit better for this. I'm gonna start with this package of tiles because it um, had a bad corner. And my plan is if I have not too many tiles, I would return the tiles. And it would be irritating to try and return a box that is broken. It would be much easier to return a box that was that looked perfect. Oh, and I do believe that I actually got a broken tile here. Well, I'm not gonna start with that one. I might put that in the middle somewhere. Not like that, but let's try one of the other ones to see if if that fits better. Well, I found that the old one was actually the one that fitted the best. So I went up here and I ankle grind that little bit, just a teeny weeny little bit. So um, I'm gonna say that this is good enough now. There we are. That's the crack that I'll have to live with. Uh, it's not noticeable. It's not bad. I'm sure that will be fine. This is progressing okay. I have just measured and I need to raise this up a little bit and I need to get this um, to keep that down because it's not as high over here as it is over here. Well, needs to do some tweaking there. Otherwise it will be very bad when I get up to the top. So with a little bit of ninja tricks and some paper over here and some finding the tile that was shortest across and over here finding the tile that was longest across, uh, just in one box. And I almost got it. Uh, the next roll will be perfect. Kind. This is great progress. I like it. Uh, there isn't much to do. Let's just move along. Yet another line. Well, three or four rolls more of tiles and I'll be hitting the loft. Well, with a little bit of tweaking over here i've now got it in well it's very pretty close now it's good enough so um, might if the ceiling is straight i might hit it in a good angle <laughs> so not far now uh, this is awesome what is that i have three whole rolls left. I think it's gonna match with the boxes. Let's see. I have three boxes left out there. Let's just see them there. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be good. Okay, this is exhausting work. I'm just recording a little bit now and then, but every roll is at least an hour of work. So I see a Mr. Spot right there. I need to put something in there. Hmm. So I've been out and measured a piece that will fit in there. Like that. And just squeeze it in there. So the tiling adhesive will go all around it. And fill out all the, the light spaces. So you won't be able to see this white wall through there, but there will be a tile there. I am almost there, but unfortunately I ran totally dry of energy. I've been working on this for hours and hours and hours and uh, well, good night. See you tomorrow. I'll continue this video tomorrow. That will just be in the next three seconds for you. I am just removing some of the extra tiling adhesive. That didn't look that well. I have wetted the whole wall down and just Removing some of it with a screwdriver, some of the very visible one. I think it's a good idea to remove this before it's, it hardens too much, but not too soon because the tiles might uh, go loose if you don't let it harden just a little bit.
Well, I'm not missing very much, so I thought I would just mix up a little bit of tiling adhesive. And of course, it took three times as long to mix up this little bit because I wasn't able to use the mixer in this big bowl or plastic container. So that was actually quite stupid. This is the progress so far. Uh, this pipe going through the wall, that was a drag that took at least half an hour to fix that alone. And I'm just opening up the last package of tiles down here. Ah, the amount of boxes that goes into this, I probably measure pretty much right. Let's just see that. Oh, last package. This is how they come. And the big problem is to get one up without damaging the other ones. That wasn't too hard. I'm gonna cut that up. Okay, I've started on the last roll or line or yeah, roll of towels, and I'm so lucky that it's a whole towel, except there is a, like one of these blocks missing. So I cut off one of these blocks and it, it mostly fits. So this one is good. I just checked it. Let's just show that. It goes a little in under there and it goes in there and I will be able to press that in very nicely. Just needs a little bit of tiling adhesive. We are gathered here today for the last rock of the wood store project to be put in. And here is the moment we've all been waiting for, for at least five videos and months and months, and at least that feels like it. So, last piece of rock goes in. There. Oh, and it's not straight. Come on, be straight. I'll fix that. It's a lot of trouble to get the, the leftovers off when it has been sitting for a while. So I'm gonna go through this and take the worst of it already now. It has only been drying for a couple of hours. So, well, it's actually only the top couple of layers I have to worry about. So I'm gonna give all this a good scrapping again to get rid of as much tiling adhesive as I can because, well, it only gets harder. I have put on some water. It uh, has two good benefits. One is that it's a lot easier to see the tiling adhesive. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some here when it's wet because uh, the tiles become almost black and the tiling adhesive is brown. So when they're wet, uh, there is a bigger difference between the two colors. And it also seems that it dissolves the tiling adhesive just a little bit here when it's still not totally dried up. So um, yeah, water helps. It's another day and the wall has been drying up overnight. But even though I washed it, All the tiling adhesive is still on there, like a, a thin layer of dust. So I'm gonna be cleaning it with this. This is a brush for washing your car. I'm hoping this is good. So I just brushed off everything with the car brush and I'm gonna wetten everything again and I'm gonna go over it with the car brush once more.
I'm gonna be taking the the bottom part of it as well so I'll just do that some places like right here I have dropped some tiling adhesive so I'll very carefully scratch that off with a screwdriver uh, not easy with one hand so I'll put the camera on the tripod and do that And there's a lot more places like that that I'll have to go over with a screwdriver and this brush. Well, after all this tiling, I have quite a mess on my hands. So I have actually been looking forward to uh, start cleaning this so I can use this table for something else for a change. I need to clean this machine, it's dirty as hell. So, but I'm gonna start with taking all the the pieces of tile, I have a good selection here from all the cuttings that I've done. Sometimes it was nice to have a piece that had that size and I could just put that in. And um, I have one whole tile left over from the build, so that's nice. But I'm hoping to put all the other pieces here in the same box and just store that. If something should happen to one of the tiles in there, I would be able to do uh, a repair and instead of just throwing out all the pieces I think it would be nice to have them laying around somewhere so I fill up the box as good as I could I wanted to show you this my uh, good cousin was by here yesterday and um, this is kind of a saw piece when you when you cut these this oh where is there it, they have this straight edges and they don't look like the rest of the rock so he was trying to replicate the the front of the rock out to the side with an ankle grinder trying to groove that up kind of kind of worked a little bit for him it was it's definitely better than than these straight edges here clearly looks like they have been uh, sawed over with a diamond blade but uh, well just thought I wanted to show you that Good for storage. Well, it's probably not that interesting watching me clean up after myself. I'm gonna end this video showing you how to clean this uh, tiling cutter. And this method is really, really best if you're like me living alone and don't have a most important second. Um... Yep. Uh, living alone. No one to complain. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel if you want to see other ways to get out of a relationship really, really, really fast. And um, have a really nice day. Bye bye.